Happy Memorial Day weekend. On this Memorial weekend, we want to honor and respect all the fallen heroes. They fought for the United States of America. And thank you very much for all the people that are in the service right now to keep us safe, to live in a beautiful life here in the United States of America. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Will you marry me, Molly Pratt? Hopefully, she will say yes. So we're here with Kevin, and Kevin came in, and he wants me to sign his brace. And of course, I'm honored to do this. Thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. Only for German Venice. All right. The sun's not down yet. It's not your moment to shine. All Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Well, what happened? How come I'm totally different dressed? It's a day later, Memorial Day weekend is over, and sometimes things don't work out the way you plan it. I wanted to do a really nice vlog about all the people dressed up on Venice Beach with the stars and the stripes, but I didn't see too many people. And it also wasn't too busy on Venice Beach. A couple of days before, it was way busier than Memorial Day weekend. So sometimes it doesn't work that way. And like I said, now I'm gonna do a different vlog probably. I'm gonna take you guys to downtown and we'll see what's gonna happen there. I'm trying to get some merchandise for you guys and I have to figure out how much it is to get your head stitched, your t-shirts and all that stuff. So let's go check out downtown Los Angeles. And you guys always know when I'm in an area where I see something that I can show you something, I always stop and throw in the fun fact. You know who walked into this house in and out every single day? Bruce Lee. This is Bruce Lee's house in Carver City, believe it or not. What? And it's for rent? I don't believe it. This is where he worked out, right here. This is where he worked out. And that's where he was standing with his kids. I did a vlog about this place before, but it always makes me happy just to come here and just imagine that Bruce Lee was standing right here and this place is for rent. It's unbelievable. And sometimes you just can't make up things. I'm actually standing here filming this video and the guy who lives in there right now came by. He recognized me because I did a vlog before and they have to move out and I might have the chance to go inside and vlog it from the inside. Sometimes everything has to be aligned. And I had no plan to come here. I just said, hey, why don't I just come here and show the people the house. So sometimes things don't work out the way you plan and sometimes things work out where you never expected that they're gonna work out. So it's already a good day for me. And I'm smiling and I'm happy and little things like this can change your whole day. I would normally take the 10 freeway all the way to downtown, but it was like so busy, it was stop and go. So I decided to go on Venice Boulevard all the way to downtown. Look at this, you wanna buy an old timer? Here's the number. And there's downtown in the background. Right here on the corner on Venice Boulevard and Normandy, there's a really old cemetery. I've been here many times. I really like to go on this cemetery and just walk around and look at all the old graves. And that's right there before downtown LA. I've done a vlog about this cemetery too. This is also a beautiful building, Loyola High School. See, when I drive around with my mom, she always looks at all the beautiful trees. And we got the red one, we got the orange one, and we got the purple one. And since German and Venice is not on a rush, let's go check out the cemetery, just a drive over. Look at all those little old houses here with the gates.
Look at this view. Probably some of your people think it's strange to drive on a cemetery, but for some reason I think those palm trees look really cool. And the thing is, we always think we're gonna live forever. We never think one day that we're gonna die. We don't wanna think about it, but it's gonna happen. So let's enjoy it while we can. There's a lot of agents buried here in this section. And you're probably thinking to yourself, German in Venice, what, you, what kind of vlog are you doing? Why are you at the cemetery? Why are you at Bruce Lee's house? What is, what is the vlog about? It's, it's about nothing. You're just hanging out with German in Venice. And there you can see downtown in the background. And look at all those goodies you can buy right here on Venice Boulevard. This place is called the Graph Lab. It's still on Venice Boulevard. I've been here many times. And you can take some really cool pictures here. They got this Mayan looking stage right here. Pretty dope. And it's right on the corner on Venice and Union. I started many of my Michael Jackson vlogs right here. I have this golden car. Of course, it's artwork. Let's see some better days. Hee <laughs> hee, who's bad? Those are the ever-changing walls. You can come here anytime. There's always something different there. Bucks. Let's flip in the west side. Real trash cans. And a real bathroom. What? And this is where kids can come and show their talent. It's all legal to spray on the walls here. Did you know that the black widow eats the man after they have sexy time? See, if I would have never come here today, you would have never seen a mural like this. I don't know who this is, but it looks pretty good. If you're a photographer, you can come here and take some really good shots with a model. You feel me? She's a manizzle. When you come down Venice Boulevard, you make a left on Main Street and you're right here in the garment district. They do all embroideries here, t-shirts. They make hats here custom embroidery, any kind of printing on shirts. So this is basically, I don't know how many stores, I'm a little bit late today. I forgot that they close at five and I had so much to do, but some of the stores are still open. So you can just go down Main Street, they sell t-shirts, hoodies, whatever you like. So you just come down here, find your merchandise and have Whatever printed on it, whatever you want. You can get like Notorious GIV on it or um, just saying or whatever. I had some hats done before and some t-shirts, but you always have to negotiate new prices. You know, everybody comes down here downtown, they always try to get as much money as they can. So the more you print, the cheaper it's gonna be. And today I'm just gonna find out some prices. So I might get some merchandise for you guys later. I don't know when it's gonna happen. I'm just checking it out right now. Embroidery, screen printing. Seems like a lot of people like this place. There's a line to get in, but I don't really wanna wait in line. This is the place where I buy my clear bags, my regular bags, my tape, whatever I need. This guy has everything. See, they got the hand press here. They got t-shirts. You can buy t-shirts wholesale in here. It's the T-Zone. You got hoodies, sweaters, whatever you like, even masks, custom screen printing, your logo here. Of course, everybody needs to make a profit, but if I buy a hat with a embroidery in the front and the bag and they charge me $14, how much should I sell the hat for, 30? I want a good deal for my customers. I don't want to charge too much money. So it's always hard to negotiate with the people because they don't know you in the beginning. If they know how many pieces you buy over time, they're probably gonna give you a better deal, but nobody wants to give you a good deal in the beginning. And I'm not that best of a businessman. I should have bring my friend Louis. He's a good negotiator. I want that sign. We'll see what he charged for a few dozen heads. I 
I really like this color here with German and Venice in the front and maybe Venice Beach printed on the arm. They even have skid row printing. There are so many different places. I really have to come back and check it out. Holy moly, how do all those YouTubers sell their merchandise? So I learned a lot. I was a little bit late today, so I couldn't go to all the stores, but some stores were selling the hoodies for $14. Other ones were selling them for $21 and the quality difference is a big difference. You can feel that, but I don't want to spend too much money. So you guys have to pay so much money to buy some of my merchandise. Also the hats, some are go for $6, some for $8. Then you have to get the embroidery done. Then there's a setup fee. You know, everybody tells you something different. If you go to 10 different people, I just have to do the whole thing again. I have to write down exactly what I want so I can do a good deal with those guys. And by the way, I'm still in downtown. You know whose door this used to be right here? Who used to walk in and out here every single day? This is Bruce Lee's dojo in Chinatown. Unbelievable, huh? This is where he trained Jet Kandu, his first dojo in LA. It was empty for years. Then another guy opened up and made it into another dojo. But since the pandemic, it hasn't been open. But this is the dojo where Bruce Lee used to work out and teach all the people Jet Kandu. Do. And since this was a spontaneous vlog, I didn't have the picture to print out and match it up, but I can insert it. What would be the story without German and Venice matching up pictures? So I'm gonna show you where Bruce Lee was standing exactly. And here we can match up the picture perfectly. He was standing with this dog right in front of his dojo. Unbelievable. This is where Bruce Lee was standing, right here. And here we got another picture where he's standing right in front of his dojo with his friend. I always wanted to do it in front of his dojo. Wow! <laughs> this never supposed to be a Bruce Lee vlog, but since I'm here already, I thought you might like it to throw him some little information. And the dojo is right here on College Street and Adobe. I'm in beautiful Chinatown, Los Angeles. I have to do a vlog one day here. What? Look at this. For show, restaurant. The best selling movie by Jackie Chan. Rush Hour was filmed right here. We definitely have to come back and check that out. I never been to China, but it feels like you're in China. Welcome to the Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers are playing today. The view to see downtown Los Angeles can't get any better than here. I hear they did the opening scenes from Terminator to Judgment Day. That's where they had like this little kids playing right here and everything burst into flames. Remember that scene? The Dodgers are playing today. And look, Los Angeles mayor gets a lot of heat because of all those empty RVs standing right here in the parking lot. They were all donated and they're supposed to go to the homeless. But instead of giving to the homeless, they're all standing right here in the parking lot and not getting used. What a view, huh? Go Dodgers. And of course, since we're here already in downtown Los Angeles, we had to see the statue, the Bruce Lee statue. No, it was not a Bruce Lee vlog. I just wanted to throw something in. Since I was here, I hope you had a good time hanging out with German in Venice. If you did, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Wow!